thanks for the Oscar, but I'm totally full of crap. This man's going around demonizing carbon dioxide, which without it the world would not be as it is, and demonizing the greenhouse effect, without which we wouldn't bloody be here. Major element of their uh, plan in the next few years is introduce massive taxation and control and imposition um, as a result of something that doesn't exist, thanks to this guy. If this guy's involved, it's a scam. End of story a pollution-based tax system, principally CO2. We're causing it mainly, the vast majority of it. The consequences are bad and will be catastrophic unless we act. It is a scientific fact that the sun is the main driver of planetary climate, and the measurements are clear. The sun is becoming hotter, brighter. It has been slowly increasing thermal output in the last hundred years. Christopher Booker in the Sunday Telegraph has discovered that uh, what he calls the warmest, the people who are telling us that we're all going to get drowned as the ice melts, well, they've been actually using a defective satellite. Um, and not only that, one of their Americans, whom they have claimed to be a leading climate scientist, turns out not to be a scientist at all, uh, not to be a scientist at all, not to be a scientist at all. I've got an article from October 8th, New York Times Magazine about a firm called Kleiner Perkins, a capital firm called Kleiner Perkins. Are you aware of that company? <laughs> well, yes, I'm a partner in Kleiner Perkins. So you're a partner in Kleiner Perkins. Okay. Now, they have invested <laughs> about a billion dollars in 40 companies that are going to benefit from cap-and-trade legislation. So is the legislation that we are discussing here today is that something that you are going to personally benefit from I believe that the transition to a green economy is good for our economy and good for all of us and I have invested in it but if you believe that the reason I have been working on this issue for 30 years is because of greed you don't know me well, sir, I'm not making accusations. I'm asking questions that have well, been asked of me. This is a graph of greenhouse gases that make up the greenhouse effect. That one, you would think, from the propaganda, would be carbon dioxide. It is water vapor and clouds. I think we ought to ban water vapor and clouds. It's the only way to save the freaking world, right? And this is carbon dioxide. Not only that, the grey stuff is natural, only the green slither is coming from human activity. And we're supposed to believe it's affecting the weather. It's the bloody sun. And I have invested in it, but if you believe that the reason I have been working on this issue for 30 years is because of greed, you don't know me. You don't know me. Aurelio Pecci, the founder of the Club of Rome, quoted it in their own publication in 1991. In searching for a new enemy to unite us, we came up with the idea that pollution, the threat of global warming, water shortages, famine and the like, would fit the bill. And they played it out ever since through the Church of Climatology, which is just a cult. And here's the high priest. Put a price on the carbon. Tax is the best way. Cap and trade can also do it. We have manufactured scarcity because abundance equals choice equals freedom. Scarcity equals dependency equals control. Scarcity equals dependency equals control. And that's why we have manufactured dependency. We have people hungry in a world of plenty.